Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's your boy, Mr. Green Hands. I am in a beautiful day outside in the UK. It's September. My garden is looking lovely. But in this one, I'm going to be reviewing a product. A company reached out to me called Saker with their mini chainsaw. I was like, okay, cool. Something I can use in the garden. So let's go and review that right now. And we're going to open it together and see what they give you. Let's do this. So let's open this. So straight away, you get your user manual. I think that is good to have a little mini user manual that's pretty handy you've got your charger and you get a battery as well that is pretty amazing that's your battery and this is the, the tool to, to connect the chain if you need to do some repairs it's there for that purpose as well if just and obviously little screwdriver I think that I'm gonna read up about this see what the uses of that is it could be just to maybe assemble something or it is to double check something that is maybe a bit loose you might need to tighten it up oh don't forget that wheel you gotta you gotta grease your chains or else you're gonna have trouble okay my first impression first impression very light Maybe when I put the battery on it, it's super light. It does come with the guard for the chain that is quite handy. And I think this comes, like if there's something flying back at you, it doesn't fly back towards you, which is handy as well. No one really likes things to be flying towards them. Bad. It's got a good grip, the grip there. I think this is a safety button. You gotta press that with the trigger to start it, which is a pretty impressive thing. So far, I'm impressed. It's super light. Let's try, I, don't, I think the battery does have some charge in it. We're gonna stick it on and we're gonna test it today. But I, before I do that, I'm gonna quickly look at the, the installment that's written on the box and get making sure I don't make mistakes because we can all make mistakes while out here in the garden. Okay, I've looked at the instructions. I think I'm ready to go. Mine one came all intact, ready to do. The only thing that was needed really is to basically slide the battery on. That's it. And to remove it, you hold that button down and it releases it you slide it back on and that 20 volt is going to give me some power but the safety button here you have to press that first before you press the trigger so there you go quite handy and the finger guard as well that's pretty nice it's pretty nice it kind of protects your hands if you're going to be knocking against something kind of protect your fingers some some signs. it says do not cut wood which is more than four inches so that's giving you an idea you can't be cutting down things which are too big if you've got a 10 inch don't try to do this and it does come with a warning caution as well so please do not let a minor use this this is more for adults so please they've given you a warning just follow the instructions i think this makes it easier so i'm gonna add some oil on the chain before i use it and we're gonna go over there and there's gonna be a tree that i have that needs a few pruning done on it actually quite a lot of pruning done to it I'm cutting it right back and this definitely by the way of this it's gonna make butter it's just gonna go quick I think because I have done it last year with a machete it wasn't the greatest option I had a secretary as I cut the smaller ones but the bigger ones I could not cut with a secretary my hands were quite numb tired of it using these yeah continuously doing this for a while can affect your fingers you know, especially when you're getting older. Not saying that I am, but I'm, you know, it comes with age. This is the apple tree that I have that needs a little bit cutting. So I'm gonna start off small to test it out. I have maybe, this is about, okay, you know what? Let me start in here. This is about an inch. Let me start with one inch. Let's work our way up. So press in the button and go. That was pretty good, I have to admit. That was good, that was quick. That was quick. Normally, you would have to use a lot of energy to do that and it didn't require much energy. So, let's test it on something that's twice the size of that. This is the other section of the branch. Let's first get it going. Wow, that was quick. That was even quicker than before. So what I'm going to do now is just go around quickly, see how quickly I can get this done. Just trim back some of this using this tool here 
and it's pretty amazing actually and I'm happy that they did ask me to review it because now I can actually make my it makes my job more easier with this thing here but obviously I'm not gonna cut something just too big if it's too big I'm just gonna leave it because it does stay this is the four inch if you cut something that's more than four inch please guys listen to what the instruction says and it's doing a really good job so let's cut this thing back and see how quick I can do it look at this guys it did a really good job it really does says what it does I really really was impressed I even cut a bigger branch just right there just to see would it make it and it did it did a fantastic job I will but look how quickly it did it it's about three minutes I did a use, use about three minutes almost four just to cut all of this that you see here I'm gonna cut this one down in a second so I would say Seika you did a good job with this yeah I would say definitely this is a something that you could buy it's so handy in the garden look how quickly I literally went through this tree and I'm gonna go right back in there I'm gonna finish this before I get going and doing something else and that that wouldn't have, that would have taken me a longer time if I use a different product or use my secretary that would be a longer time so yeah in terms of speed amazing the only thing I would say is the motor is quite a bulgy motor hanging out so you're trying to maneuver your hands through the limbs trying to get us to a smaller limb this can knock on it I really wish it was a little bit more more compact so that's one thing to think about Seika if you are going to be um, re re reviewing this product in the future and producing a, a more upgraded version that's one thing I would have to say but yeah in terms of quality it definitely does the job it does what it says as they say it says it does what it says on a tin but in this case it does what it says on a box and it's light there a small area or an area wherever you live if you want to cut a little bit of a walkway if you're living in a bit of a homestead and you want to make a little bit of a walkway these are perfect just cut down small trees not big ones that you will definitely need to get something bigger a massive chain if it's necessary or professionals please if you've got a tree if you don't know how to cut some trees learn about cutting trees but just be careful but definitely i would definitely advise someone to get this it's pretty handy this is your boy mr green hands and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you guys next time